you have your license on you? I don't. Why not? Because I don't have a license for okay. this second. Is it because it's suspended? Yeah, probably, yeah. Okay, go ahead, step it up for me. Face away. What was that? Go ahead, it's coming out. Okay, okay. Are you doing something? What's going on? Face away for me. Okay. okay. The reason for the stop is because the pressure driver of the vehicle, which is you, is suspended for DUI. Okay. So you're being placed under arrest for driving on suspended license for DUI. Hold well, on, but I was, I got the, um, uh, the, what is it called? The hardship? Yeah. Do you have it on you? No, I don't, they, I never got it. I was just supposed to come in the mail. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, I'm confused. Okay, thank so, you. Okay, I'm confused though. Yeah, like, I have the driver to thing. I asked them, why did you pull me over initially? Yeah, she's my driver. Can you run her, please? You have anything on you that you shouldn't have? No, no, no. I don't even have pockets on. Okay. Have a seat. Okay. This is, like, cut in my arm. Okay. I'll, I'll fix it in a minute. Okay. Can I ask why you initially pulled me over? Because the registered owner of the vehicle, which is you, is suspended. Okay. So you're driving on a suspended license. That's why I stopped you. But how would you know that I was driving? I ran the tag. When you went by, Okay. I saw you in the driver's seat. So how does... But I applied for it. And okay. They, they did not issue it. So how do... I don't understand it, though. So when I got the phone call, the guy said that it was approved. I'll confirm that. Where are you coming from? Where? So I, I applied for the hardship. I went to the, the DMV in Orlando. They said that I was approved. Well, they called me a couple of days later. I did a whatever over the phone. And they said it was approved. Go ahead. Was there more that I had to do? So what is that? But so that guy said that at 945 that day, was there more that I was supposed to do? I don't know. So. So what, when does it show you that it was eligible? What does that mean? Yeah, so I called, the guy called and he said at 9.45 that morning, because that was when I got done with the phone call, he said that at 9.45 that morning I would, I would have it. Is that not how that works? Because I'm not driving around not knowing I don't have a license. I have not, I'm not that stupid. I genuinely had no idea. I thought I had that hardship thing and I was just waiting for it to come in the mail. Was there more to it that I had to do? I will find out. Because if so, that's not what I was under the impression of. I thought that, that because I applied, I was approved for it. It was. I, he said at 9:45, as of 9:45 this morning, you're you're approved, and, and or that wasn't the word that he used. He used some, another word. And I said okay, and that was. I assumed it was just going to be something that came in the mail. So she's saying she was issued a hardship license, but. David says, and everything else says, she she got a call saying that she was eligible and she thought she was issued a hardship. She's coming from work, so if she had a hardship, she would be in, in, in uh, compliance. But it doesn't look like she has one issued. She's just eligible for one. So I missed something somewhere? Yeah. So I have some that guy told me as of 9.45 that morning. Who's that guy? The one who called when he... So you got a name or a department he's with? Uh, from the DMV. The guy who I applied to the hardship. I won't have a name unless they can look at the paper. On what day? Weeks ago. The Monday after I got she, out. She said she got a call around 9 o'clock that morning. And he says as of 9.45 that morning I was okay. <laughs> so did I miss... Yeah. yeah, supposedly as of 9.45 that morning, but I don't see it in here. So was, would it have been I was eligible to do something more? Or I don't understand what I'm it, Yeah. So I go off. Okay, so she's suspended for DUI then. Sounds good to me. All right, thank you. Alrighty. Thanks. Bye. I even have a class tomorrow for, for the DUI class that I had to sign up for in order to get the merch. Okay. Which means you don't have a hardship. No, no. I, I, sh that's you said your class is tomorrow. No, 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 no. 
I had to sign up for the DUI class in order to get the hardship. Which program. is tomorrow, correct? No, no. You just told me the class is tomorrow. Yes, the first class is tomorrow. That means you don't have a hardship. No, but no. Okay. I, what I'm saying is I have right. to sign up for the class in order is to this a, to Is this the address? What is that? Uh, your correct address? No, my, uh, my house is right up the road from here. Who can we call there and come get your car? Um, my son. How old is he? 18. What's his phone number? Wait, so I don't understand. So I don't have a hardship. No, ma'am. Why would the guy tell me as of 9.45? He didn't. The, the, no. the DSMV does not call you. The, no. The guy That's what I was talking to as a DUI, our the, DUI expert. The guy from the court that okay. I applied for the hardship. Okay. That's a real thing, I promise you. If I could get my phone, I could show you. I don't I don't have information right offhand like that. He's probably sleeping. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic... Can you leave him a message and just tell him that my car is here and to come get it when he wakes up? No, we can't leave the car parked here. It's parked in the middle of the road. Can we move it over? No, ma'am. My house is literally no, three minutes of the road. I didn't actually do anything for a DUI. I was sleeping in my car in the parking lot at the okay. bar when that happened. Okay, well, that's out of Polk County. I have nothing to do with that. I know. I know. I know. I just. I 1915, like. I can't believe 1015. When people hear that somebody that a DWI told me, I would look at somebody bad, too. You want to talk to your mom real quick? Yeah, Dylan, come over here. She's over here. Yeah. She is. Her license is suspended for DUI. Where is her phone? She's on that side. Where's your phone at? It's hanging on, on like the in the in the car. If you're looking at the steering wheel on the right hand side, it's plugged into like the vent. Okay. I'm assuming There's a lot of no, there's a lot of shorthand jargon in there that I'm not familiar with. So I called our DUI expert. And she reviewed the same thing I was looking at, and she told me that. So, but what did so you have no license; it's suspended for DUI. Nineteen fifteen late. White female, ten fifteen, ten twelve, fifty one LCJ, six five. We're starting. Nine nine five three five. What did that mean? Where was that guy? Was eligible? Read your eligible, which means if you go in and get it, you have to apply. But you're eligible. It doesn't mean it's issued. It means you are allowed to go get it. Where was that supposed to go? I don't know. Me neither. So I, 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 I'm not the one having to get a hardship, so I don't know. They, they should have given you all the information with the DUI packet in Polk County. I don't know what information they gave you because I don't work for Polk County. I wasn't there, so I don't know what they gave you. I didn't get anything. So... They should have gave you. They should have gave you that information. Yeah. You know, you'll you'll have a, you'll have to appear in front of the judge. You have a court date, September twelfth, at eight o'clock in the morning, Lake County Courthouse. You appear in front of the judge. Explain to him why you're driving on a suspended license, because at the time of the stop, your license is, is suspended, yeah. and you do not have an, a, a hardship issued for the computer for what we we saw. So, explain to the judge, take all paperwork in, uh, dates, names, whatever you have, explain to the judge what you believed to have occurred, explain the situation, and he'll make a determination to either uphold the citation or dismiss it. But I can only go on what is presented to me at the time, and what I what's presented to me is everything says your license is suspended without a hardship issue. So that's the part that gets me because it says that it was approved. And if that's an error with the DMV and they never updated it, then that's an error with the DMV. But I can't see that's an error. Okay. So that would be an issue you take up with the judge and the DMV. Right. No, no, I understand it's not you. You're doing your job. I totally get it. I'm not. I just, my confusion is that I didn't understand missing something somewhere or something. It tells me you're eligible for a hardship. Eligible. So I don't see. I don't understand what that means. It means you're. It means you're eligible. Some 
people, after, after like the 10th DUI, they're not eligible to get a hardship license. They're not allowed to have one. Right, no, so I... You are eligible, which means you go in, you you have the uh, you have the ability to receive one. You're eligible to receive it. Right. You're not automatically denied. No, I, so, so I did that part, though. That's what I'm saying, because I did that part. I had okay. to sign up for the DUI class and prove that I was signed up for it, and then go and pay it. before they'll give you a license. That was inside the DMV. I had to go into the DMV and uh, everything. In, there was a place inside the DMV in Orange County. Okay. Yes, sir.